everyone. As promised, here is um, again another 10 to 15 minute yoga, a really restorative um, flow. Well, it's not really a flow, it's more just of a practice that you can do in your bed before you go to sleep. Um, and a lot of us find sleeping an issue. So actually putting your body into a state of relaxation before you actually get into bed is half the battle. Um, your body, your muscles relaxed, you've done some mindful breathing and hopefully you will find that um, getting to sleep will be um, easier for you. So first things first, if you just bring yourself onto um, all fours and in this position, I always say to people, you can have, you know, with yoga, you can have variants on all these different poses. Child's pose, you can either bring your knees out to the side and have your big toe mounds meeting, or you can have your knees and your ankles together and um, have your arms behind you. So whatever variation you want, if you want to have your knees together and your ankles, then just come to a position where your forehead is on the bed, your hands are down towards your feet and your palms are on the floor. If you want the variation of your toes and your knees wide and your toes together, then just spread your knees open and then you can really sort of fall into this really lovely extended pose. This is quite nice for lower backs. So take your arms out in front of you, allow your forehead to come to the mat, um, mat to the mattress. And we're just going to be here for a while and have a rock around here. It's quite nice to be able to try and encourage your chest down towards the mattress here. Really open up and maybe you just want to be um, in this position for three or four minutes. It's totally up to you. But what you're trying to do here is to really soften around your hips and quieten the mind. So encourage the, the skin on your forehead to sort of push down towards your third eye, shutting everything off and really allowing um, your intentions to be quiet, mindful and try and bring your awareness to your breath. And really make your breath loud here, the ujjayi breath. So really taking long, deep breaths in through your nose and then just sighing everything out. And once you've had enough of that, bring your knees together if they're not already together. And then we're going to come down lying completely flat on the bed, on the bed now. So just be in this position, um, find, find the foundation, have your elbows out to the side and bring one ear down towards the uh, mattress. And so you're going to bend both knees here, bring your um, heels down to your bum and then see if you can take your hands and reach your feet. If you can't reach your feet, it's fine. You could always get a dressing gown cord and put them put the dressing gown cord around your ankles and then just encourage, hold the dressing gown cord and encourage those heels back down to your, your bottom here. This is a really lovely stretch for the front of your thighs. Um, and if you've been walking a lot, this is just a really lovely supine stretch for those quads. And if you're going to stay here for a couple of minutes, when you go, when you're um, when you're changing over your ear, just release your knees and then engage your core before you take your ear, your other ear, to the mattress, and then bring your heels back down to the mat again. And also in this position, you can do one leg at a time, stretch the other foot out. You have a really nice um, squeeze in the lower back here, which is lovely. Bring the other leg in, stretch the other leg out, and then completely release. Bring everything down to the mat here. We're going to go into something called locust pose. Now, normally this is quite an energizing pose, but actually um, on the bed, it's really nice to do 
So if you take a big inhale here and then lift your shoulders off the mat, off the mattress, squeeze your shoulders together and then just release everything. So it's sort of like you're opening up your chest, smiling your collarbones open and then slowly like you're folding everything in, closing your eyes, allowing your shoulders to around and bowing your head into the mattress and letting go of everything here so you're fully relaxed and then slowly we're going to roll over onto our backs again extend your feet out bring your arms up over your head take some nice big deep inhales here and then just allow everything to float out of your body and really encourage yourself to take note of how you're feeling sort of check in to feel if there's any tension and that might be tension in the muscles it might be tension in your head and really soften that area really go in and try and um, intuitively say to yourself i don't need this tension anymore and just let it go so then bring your knees into your chest and you're just going to bring slowly your knees um, into this rocking position. So holding the top of your knees, this should be lovely for your lower back as well. Just giving yourself a really lovely massage. You might want to go from side to side. Keep the breathing going. And then we're going to bring um, our our feet together but what we are going to do is we're going to use a pillow in this position so again we're coming into something called um, a restorative um, Vadakonasana so bring your soles of your feet together and you can prop up as many pillows as you like here and then bring your heels into your uh, midline and then slowly relax and bring your hands to the outer part of your or the inside of your knees and just allow them to fall back here you can completely relax in this position, allowing gravity to bring those knees down towards the mattress. They're clearly not going to get down to the mattress fully, but just being in this open pose and also being supported by a pillow here is so nice. You can really take your breath deep here, just being in this position allowing your head to slightly fall back, your chin faces the ceiling, your shoulders soft, your belly soft, taking really big deep inhales here. Slowing everything down, slowing the mind down. Again, each of these poses, it's totally up to you how long you make your practice. This is just a suggestion. So if you want to be here for longer, then that's absolutely great. So again, we're going to slightly rock forward here. So bring your knees into your chest, rock yourself up into a seated position. And then we're going to come again, very similar. Bring your soles of your feet together. But this time we're going to take our arms underneath our, our um, legs and our palms, if you can reach, just rest very gently on the tops of your feet. Now this is where it's lovely to have um, a pillow. This one's way too big. Let me have this one. Um, to have between your legs and then you can allow your forehead just to drop onto the mat, or onto this pillow here. And this allows your shoulders to completely round. So you're spreading your shoulder blades away from each other. Your belly's soft. You're opening your hips. And again, your forehead is resting on the pillow with the skin of your forehead being dragged down towards your nose. So again, closing everything down, allowing the mind to be calm really envisage your breath coming in through the back of your chest area back of your ribs 
and sighing it out through the front from your heart center. So take a couple of deep breaths here, allowing the neck to be really soft. So your head should be really heavy on that pillow, allowing all of the tension in your shoulders, the back of your neck, everything just to release. Again, this one is a really lovely pose to, to stay in for five minutes because when you come out of this, you really feel like you're in a sort of, a, not a meditative state, but like a really sleepy, it really is effective for going to sleep. And the amount of times that I've woken up in the middle of the night and I think, oh my God, my mind is rushing around. I've got lists in my head going on. And I come into this position and Honestly, it gets me back to sleep within seconds because you just close everything down and it's so, it's such a wonderful, um, wonderful thing to do. Anyhow, so once you've been in this position, what you do is you just close, um, straighten your legs and then peel your, your body all the way back down towards your pillow, allowing your hands to come out to the side of you bringing your both knees up and then into your chest, allowing one, both knees to fall down to the left. So supine twist here. Again, you can either cross your thighs over one another to get a really deeper stretch, which is lovely in thoracic spine, or just keep it as it is. Um, and then you come back up and you do the other side. So drop both knees down to the right hand side again. You can um, wrap your uh, legs over one another so you get that really deep stretch across your left um, butt and then bring it back up to centre, bring your feet back down to the bed and then just close your eyes and allow everything to fall into the mattress. So um, visualise your body letting go of each muscle in that area. So what I, I, I do a body scan. The body scan is really easy. So what you do is you take your mind's eye and you start with your toes, then you start with the sole of your feet, the top of your feet, your shins, your calves, your knees, and you basically go through each part of your body, visualizing these muscles, letting go, um, getting heavier. And as soon as you feel tension and you're actually bringing your attention to maybe your forearm or your shoulder and, and sending that sort of intention of relaxation, funnily enough, you do sometimes feel the body let go, like physically let go. And then I always end off with a head. So encourage your head to be really heavy on that pillow and bring, drawing a line up through the back of your head. So starting from your neck, then at the, at the back of your head, the, the crown of your head, and then find the space between your eyebrows, allowing your eyebrows to melt down towards your ears. So softening the face, face completely. And then you're lying there, making sure that the, um, the jaws are not locked, the tongue is soft and heavy, lying at the bottom of the mouth, your lips are soft, your cheeks are soft your whole face is soft and then say to yourself, I am fully surrendered onto this mattress. I am fully relaxed. And then close your eyes and hopefully drift off to sleep. I hope this has helped and um, any questions get in touch um, and hopefully I'll see you soon on the mat. Namaste.